Xavi Hernandez will be making his debut in the dugout as Barcelona coach this weekend. And very fittingly, it's a Catalan derby. So it's Barca against Espanyol. And we'll get our first look at what Xavi's going to be like as Barca coach. Now, when it comes to style of play, Ali Moreno, I know we can expect the possession game. He's given so many clues. We've seen how he had his side playing in Qatar. What are you expecting him to bring in terms of this to Barcelona? I'll tell you what it's not going to be. We're not just going to lump the ball forward and hope to win second balls. Headers into the box, crosses coming into the box, early crosses. None of that is happening. No surprise here. It's going to be possession, 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 and more possession. Barcelona will be able to possess the ball in the defending half. We've seen that. Barcelona will try to possess the ball in the middle third. They struggle with that this season at times in that they now turning the ball over more than they did in the past. But what's even going to be more of a challenge and more of a question is how good and how productive that possession is in the attacking half, in the final third. Can you see Barcelona not only passing the ball sideways and back, but can you see that penetrating pass, that pass that eliminates lines of defending? And in order to have that, not only do you have to have quality of possession, but you also have to have movement ahead of the ball. And those are things that Barcelona at times this season has struggled with. Yes, they can keep the ball, but now all of a sudden, when you get into that final third, when it gets crowded, when you need an Iniesta or a Xavi to find those passes, you're not quite seeing the movement ahead of the ball and you're not seeing the quality of passing either. That's when the turnovers happen and that's when Barcelona has to go back and defend when other teams go on the counter. So we'll talk, we could talk about the team against Espanyol and we'll kind of have to do that, but obviously some players are still injured and there's some players still to come back. But it is interesting to, to look at who Xavi will be relying on, who he's going to be counting on in this team. One player that we've seen a lot of talk about of late and it seems as though he's going to try and get the best out of him is Usman Dembele. Is it now or never for this player and can he do it under Xavi? It's been now or never who is Mane Dembele now for a couple of years. And every coach that has come in, in one way or another, looks at the player. And I imagine that looks at him in training and says, man, this kid is something. Man, I love this guy's ability. Look at him run with the ball. Look at him and the separation he can create in 1v1 situations in tight areas over distance. And then you get to the game. And then he gets hurt. And then he doesn't play again. So how many times do you rely upon that in order to be a central figure of your attack, a central figure in terms of the importance of what you do in the attack and have? How many times do you then say to yourself, you know what, we're just going to wait for Dembele because when he comes on, he's going to give us something. Well, and he did against Dinamo Kiev in, uh, in Champions League away from home. But then he gets injured again and you just kind of like, well, there we go again. You cannot rely upon a guy that hasn't proven to you that he's going to be available. Never mind productive. Available first. He has not been available to you. And so, therefore, I would not wrap my arms around Usman Dembele if I were a manager and say, man, you are going to be so special for us. No, I would tell him, look, you got to be ready to play. You got to be available. You got to be on the field. Once you do that, then we'll manage you as a player, and we'll see how you can help us. But until he's on the field consistently, I think this is a non-discussion. On a positive note, though, Ale, he does have some really nice pieces to work with in this team. Let's talk about the likes of some of the youngsters, Ansu Fati and Gavi. Is it really good for those players that they have a manager like Xavi that will be able to help them with their development and to help this team, Barcelona? Well, I think it's a blessing in disguise for Barcelona that they've had their financial issues and financial difficulties. They haven't bring in, they haven't been able to bring in the players that they wanted. They haven't been able to sign big name players, and so therefore you're forced, even with through injury, to play some of these young guys, guys that perhaps would not have had a chance had they had bigger names available to them. And so now you are forced to see what Gavi is going to be for you. And I think they stumble upon a kid that may become a special player for Barcelona. In the case of Pedri as well, that he has now become a central figure to their success. And Sufati, of course, when you see him out on the left-hand side, caught into the inside, you see that this is a kid that is going to be around for a decade for Barcelona. Now you get a chance to really sort of kind of shape this talent and really nurture this talent. And this is where I think the importance of Xavi will come in and say, all right, look, 
I know what Busquets is. I know what Gerard Pique is. I know what Jordi Alba is. And they're well on their way out. This is not the future of Barcelona anymore. The future of Barcelona is with these kids. And so while I need to lean on the experience of some of these guys to get us through some of these tough moments, the future of Barcelona is building around this core group of young players. And can we get them to mature to the point to where they are at their very best sooner rather than later? That's going to be the key because the middle part of the talent group for Barcelona, not the old guys, not the young guys, but the core group right now of Coutinho and company, and that's not a group that you want to lean on. Sergio Roberto is not the answer for you in the future. And so, therefore, you lean on these young guys and say, all right, we need to get these guys to mature, to grow up quicker than they would, and we need to trust them. And know that they're going to make mistakes, but trust them that they're going to be able to take us through this tough patch along with the experienced guys. Once they do that, then I think Xavi has done his job. And hopefully for Barcelona, they're going to get the very best of these young guys. The old guys will provide some leadership and maybe they find consistency out on the field. He'll definitely be hoping that with the news today that the CEO has said there'll be no signings in January, but I'm sure we'll keep hearing rumours of loan deals. Don't worry, we'll bring you them all here on ESPN FC. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well,